an amazing time. Okay, at Career Conference. And so congratulations to all of the achievers. I am so excited to be here tonight. I've heard there's some red jackets on the call. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to everyone that added a, their first team member in 30 days, plus the top 20 of this area. Congratulations on making it to this call on tonight. So our time is short. I know that it is. So I am going to jump right in. Can you believe that we are in the final four months of this seminar year? Oh my goodness. It feels like we were just having virtual seminar celebrating, you know, our accomplishments. And now it's time to do it all over again. It's time to close out the year. So now, it is time to fire up those goals in March and march on into April, May, and June. And so this is the time of year, if you're new, this is a time of year when we pull out all the stops. This is the time when we ask everyone to be all in. Be all in on your personal goals. Be all in on your unit's goals and definitely be all in on your area's goals. As we enter, the last four months of this seminar year, I want to talk with you about wanting more in the final four. Wanting more in the final four. And you may ask me, what is the more? <laughs> what is the more that I'm wanting? I'm so glad that you did because I have an acronym for you tonight about more. The M. Ladies, the M stands for get mad, okay, mad. I'm talking about motivated and determined. You have got to get mad in these last four months of the seminar year. You have to set your goals and go after them like never before. You want more and you deserve more. So let's get mad and make it happen. So in getting motivated and determined, you have to decide what are you finishing? Make the decision. What are you finishing? Are you finishing up that national court of sales, which I know so many of you are? Are you maxing out this month? Yes, still 10 days left in this month for you to max out. Are you moving up in leadership? I know we have some leaders on this call tonight. And so what is the more? Getting motivated, getting determined in these last four months of the seminar year. So that's number one, getting mad. As you are wanting more in the final four, the next thing is to be optimistic. Having a positive outlook is vital to the success of your business. As they say, if you're gonna win big, you gotta play big. So it is time to go big or go home in these last four months. You have to focus on the positive. What are the good things that are happening in your business? How has this business positively impacted your family? What are the benefits that have come from Mary Kay? Because let me tell you, anytime you're going from a big goal for a big goal, there will be what? Obstacles. <laughs> there will be obstacles. The same is true from the newest consultant all the way to me and your national. We all have those obstacles. And so when you're going for something big, you have to be optimistic. But not only being optimistic, but you have to be around people that are optimistic as well. People that have similar goals as you, okay? And so you want to be around people that have that winning mindset as we are wanting more in the final four. So number one, we gotta get motivated and determined. Number two, we have to be optimistic and hang around powerful people, powerful partners who are going in the same direction that we are going. And then next, as we're wanting more, the R is for ready. It stands for ready. Not only ready, but ready, willing, and available. Okay? Being ready is just the first step. So what are you ready for? Are you ready for change? Are you ready for your next level? Are you ready to make more income? Are you ready to be a car driver? Or are you ready to give yourself a raise, to give yourself a promotion and move into leadership? You must be ready. But it's not just being ready. It's actually taking the action. So now that you're ready, you have to ask yourself, am I willing? In order to go to your next level, you have to be willing to step outside of that comfort zone. 
Are you working on new things? Are you mastering this virtual world? Are you learning a new skill or a new app? I see your national smiling. So maybe she just talked to y'all about that. <laughs> I promise she didn't see my notes. So it's all just confirmation. And so um, are you willing to be coached? That's the hard part sometimes. It's always great to hear things that we want to hear, but sometimes we have to get the feedback that's going to move us to the next level. So you have to give your director and your national permission to coach you, okay? They may see things that you are missing. And so now that you're ready and willing, the last component is being available availability doesn't mean that you do Mary Kay all day every day I know you have families you have children you have other priorities but availability means that you make time for your business it means that you are checking in with your director with your national you are being accountable the saying is true we make time for the things that are important to us OK, and if it's not important, we don't make time. It's just that simple. And so when you are available, that simply means you do something for your business every single day. I don't care if it's 15 minutes here or there, 30 minutes here or there, an hour here or there. You set aside time and you focus to get things done. That old school egg timer. I remember having the egg timer. They probably don't even make those anymore on my desk and saying, okay, <laughs> I have 30 minutes to get this task done and I am going to do it and then go back to my life. So in order to have more in these next four months of the year, we know that we have to be ready. We have to be willing and we have to be available for our business. And then finally, as you are wanting more in the final four to wrap up this seminar year, we have to have emotional management. That is the E. That is the E. The M was motivated and determined. The O was optimistic. The R, ready, willing, and available. And then the emotional management. As we always say in Mary Kay, when you control your emotions, you control your income. <laughs> that is so important. We cannot let the highs and lows of life completely throw us off track. Because guess what? It's going to happen. Something is going to happen. And so anytime, as I said before, you're up for a huge goal, things will happen. And so when we think about it, if we work another job at work, they give you, what, two to three days. And then you're expected to come back 100% and be on it. And so when things happen, don't stay in the pity party. Because as we know, that is the most expensive party you will ever have. It costs you money. It costs you time. And it costs you confidence. That's the biggest one. It costs you your confidence when you are there. So let's control these emotions. As you run to and through the finish line, these last four months of the seminar year. And the last thing that I want to talk about, I just kind of want to run through some numbers very quickly, some strategies on maxing out. OK, let's talk about the cash. Let's talk about the cash. I know that some of you are maxing out at two thousand. Some of you are doing three thousand. Some are even doing four thousand dollars okay this month and so you have big audacious goals but no matter what your number is you just simply have to break it down and for me i like simple math i like things like this number one if you sell 25 dollars to 20 customers do you know that is a 500 dollars day okay 25 dollars to 20 customers if you sell $30 to 20 customers, small numbers. That is a $600 day. Do we see how we can multiply these? Four or five $500 days, four or five $600 days. Let's get a little bigger. $40 to 25 people, just 40 bucks. I'm talking about a hydrogel eye patch, okay? To 25 people is a $1,000 day. A $1,000 day simply selling 25 jars of hydrogel eye patches. How easy is that? And then $40 to 50 customers is a $2,000 day. We have 10 days left. Can we not have two $2,000 days and wrap this puppy up? <laughs> Absolutely we can. Absolutely we can. And so 
of course you have your 2424 we've heard of that i even saw a flyer with the 4848 um if your national hasn't seen that i can send that to you but i'm pretty sure y'all already have it send it okay i'll send it it's a 4848 that gives you two thousand three a little over twenty three hundred dollars uh, with a 4848. So just little strategies for quick sales. But then I'm going to challenge you to go back to the faces, okay? Because we know every month we should be doing what? 30 faces in 30 days. And so something that I have is called the power of 42. The power of 42. And it's really, really simple. All you do on a sheet of paper is number one through 42. And you break it up into quadrants of seven seven at a time and so you want to first write down your your favorite seven people that's one through seven you're my favorite people the next seven will be your co-workers or your former co-workers if you don't work anymore the next seven will be family the next seven will be church or worship groups and i can put this in the chat the next seven will be children's friends, or if your children are grown and gone, it could be a club member if you're part of a club or an organization. And then the last seven will be neighbors, kind of like a Frank's list, but I just call it the power of 42. Because when you do all of these, you will have a list of 42 names. And what we're aiming for is, I mean, I'm sure you have some faces in this month, but if you had zero faces in, 30 of those people booking with you over the next 10 days. Yes. Is that crazy? Absolutely. Is that audacious? Absolutely. Because we've got to take massive action to have massive results over these next 10 days. So I am super excited about you. I hope that you've gotten something out of this, wanting more in the final four, and then understanding breaking down those numbers so that you can max out. I'm excited about you having an amazing month in and a strong finish to the seminar year. That's it. Oh my goodness. Carmen, that was great. Okay, everybody puts one thing that they learned in there, whether it was mad, more uh, optimistic, emotional, somebody put what they got. One thing, one word or two words, something in the chat. Mad, Jennifer got mad. Okay, what else for our beautiful national who spoke today? Which one? Okay, awesome. Thank you, Mad. More, M-O-R-I, more emotional. 42 names. All right, perfect. How about, did you love those other things that she was telling you guys about too? How much you need to sell each day? Optimistic, power 42, ready, more. Oh my goodness, so many great things. Carmen, 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 girlfriend. Oh my goodness, emotional management. <laughs> you can tell where everybody is going all over with this here. I know, Carmen, you got another, get to another call and I'm gonna jump on yours after we're done here. But yeah. I just wanna say- The number breakdown, okay, really quick, yep. So somebody can grab that, the $500, $600,000, $2,000 day, and I'll send the flyer for the 4848. All right. So is everybody in? Thank you, Carmen. You're amazing, girl. We appreciate you. Love you. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you all, you guys. Was that not helpful? I love those quick ideas from her. You're like, okay, my head hurts. I know. So, you know, sometimes we wrap our heads around all this stuff. So just pick a couple but something to run with. And you know what, if I, if I asked all of my directors and I'm not, but um, if I was to ask them how many, when they were in DIQ, how many recruits they got their last five days, they got almost all of them in their last five days or something to that five and five days, seven and five days. There we go. See, it is true. It's that old term paper. And I know some of you who did it the night before it was due. And some of you took, you know, did it beforehand. So look at all of that. You guys, she did a great job. Did y'all get that? Um, I'll get it back from her too. And this is being recorded so that we can go back and yes, I will send it to you so that you have the recording. All right. Well, we have virtual events this week and I want to go through them really quickly with you because I want you to jump on first off Wednesday is skincare, two different times. And here's what I want to challenge you is to open your home to a large virtual party yourself while I'm doing it for you and invite your team members to help them sell and or see how to do a skincare party. 
So number one, run around your town tomorrow, drop off samples. Okay. You all know I do skincare, charcoal mask, and like there, plus I show other things too. So that's the first thing you can do. Okay. And I'm going to probably stop the rest of this here. Well, yes, 